As above, so below. That phrase is believed to be the key to all magic. As above, so below. So if... So if they carved a door on the ceiling... There's got to be a, a door on the floor, too. Yeah, someone help me your rock. I'm fascinated by two big things about it. Is number one is when you, you, know you, were, you knew you were going to shoot the movie in the catacombs. It was part of the conceit of mm -hmm. the, the storyline. But to put something on paper and then to even come down and sort of you know, think that you know where everything's gonna go and like find the places. It's not normal sort of production design or sort of like location scouting. How much did that affect? How many times did you guys have to come over here? Like what was that process like just to even figure out what you were going to do? Well, we spent, uh, I think our first location scout, we, we did uh, maybe 10 different uh, catacomb systems. Hmm. And uh, the first day we like, we went through a hole like this big and and we, you know, when I think five hours underground, like, you know, through water up to here and like under stone, like, you know, spaces like this tight where we'd be crawling on our bellies, like for a hundred yards at a time. And, uh, and it was, it was genuinely scary. It was like, you know, it was like a nightmare. <laughs> and, uh, and one of the people who had totally lost his mind, you know, which was like, we're like, okay, we got to capture that. We won't name names, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, we're like, we got to capture this feeling in the movie. And, uh. And then, you know, like I say, I remember, you know, by the end of it all, like, just being like, oh, I can't wait to take this headlamp off. Like, it was like, you know, five months with a headlamp on my head. And, uh... But, yeah, I mean, you're right. The, the, the first location scout was, uh, yeah, 12 days. I think we saw more like 15 different, you know, was catacomb it? systems and quarries and basically every underground space in and around Paris we saw. And we kind of selected what we liked the best. And mm. then we went back to Los Angeles finished the script and then came back and then it became about permissions and that was a, a whole second chapter of trying to figure out what we could actually get and uh, we secured actually this system right here was the first kind mm -hmm. of big victory we had and then you know but there's a few really key signature ones that were uh, very important to us to have in the movie that were extremely difficult to get permits yeah. for. Yeah we're the first production ever to get permission to shoot in the uh uh, like off limits areas of the catacombs. So yeah. that was the that South. Was, system, that was exciting. The South yeah. System, it's called, and that was a, a really tricky one that we had to have. And it was uh, certainly in our careers, it was the most difficult permit we've ever, ever had to obtain. Did you personally have to go and like try to get the permit yourself, or was we, it just like w sitting at home waiting by the you know email for like them to say yes? A little, a little bit of both. We, yeah. we had to meet people and and discuss what we're going to do there, and and uh, I mean it was it was tricky. Yeah. And, and then even then, it was I think maybe five of us six of us got to go down with the cast and so it was like a really skeletal crew mm -hmm. and uh and really hard spaces to navigate and uh you know we were in water and we were you know like i mean it, it was it was, um, so, it was so when you cast a movie you know actors like they say they'll do anything they, 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 they say they'll be whatever when you were casting were you making sure that okay you cannot be claustrophobic was there any sort of discussion for any of the actors at all did that come up at all i guess in the conversation well, with people that did both with actors and crew. We had to say like, "You aren't claustrophobic, right?" <laughs> and then even then, we we uh, we said like, just to make sure, let, let's <laughs> let's do a let's do a wardrobe test, and, uh, and we said, like, and let's test. do it underground, yeah. and uh, we'll get the crew, and we'll get the cast, and we'll test, you know, try on a couple different wardrobes, and and sort of just watch people and see, you know, and we realized one of our crew or one of our cast members uh, definitely had a. Uh, um, wasn't very comfortable down here and we said okay let's let's write that in let's make him claustrophobic if, he, if we're gonna rock that let's rock it <laughs> you know <laughs> and uh, he, he was a real trooper he i mean he he was down here and he was you know he'd have to uh you know take a moment take like... a moment and calm himself and then we do a scene and you feel his his anxiety his apprehension down here and it's and that particular you know, actor had the most claustrophobic scene in the whole movie too so he definitely uh had a rough time that day but he 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 actually really, I think, enjoyed what it did for his performance, and it was uh, his performance was so solid. And I don't know that it was uh, mm -hmm. all that much acting. I think it really was <laughs> yeah. a problem for him. So when people see the trailer, they probably see that scene with the car on fire, and they go, "Oh, that was a soundstage. They really didn't go down to catacombs." Yeah, but know. you did. How do you shoot that and not have the smoke like <laughs> kill everyone? Like, how does that? How does that even work? Well, we had one, that was tricky. <laughs> you know, we that, had one quarry in particular that we could kind of do whatever we wanted with. We could, you know. 
paint the walls. We could, you know, we, we, most places we had to really be careful with, you know, any damage or yeah. any, you know, kind of, you know, defacing any, uh, anything on a historical site, but we had one quarry that we could kind of do whatever we wanted. And that's where we brought the car and that's where we burned it. And, yeah, and we had ventilation mm -hmm. systems and we had to, you know, just turn on, you know, like light it up, like right before shooting and, you know, and, and, yeah, you know, huge. another, and we had the real actor in the car, you know, Tested it on myself first to make sure we weren't going to torch someone. <laughs> and, uh, you know, sat in the car and lit it up. And, um, and uh, I, but it was, uh, you know, we kept expecting someone to say, like, guys, this is just ridiculous and you can't light a fire, a car on fire in a, in a, in a quarry. And, uh, and uh, that call never came. Like, we just kept saying, we got to have it, we got to have it. And, and we never got shut down. Our and, philosophy is usually just, keep asking for things or keep, you know, insisting on these things until someone says you absolutely cannot have this. And yeah, it's an <laughs> approach I learned from my five-year-old. <laughs> you know, right. I just keep asking the same question over and over until you get it. One of the things that's really interesting about the film is you have all these sort of world-building type things that are like brought up that are never explained and are scary and you're wondering what's going on and it increases the, the, the scares as the movie sort of goes on in many ways. But it's it's not part of the main story in times, it seems, with the with the... With the with stone, mm -hmm. and I'm just curious, do you have that all worked out? Is that like all in a plan? Like who these, who that person is, who these people are? Like is that all something that you've thought about for down the road, or no? We have, we yeah. have, and that's there, there's a real, uh, you know, we we're you know we got really into the the research and the history of this world, and and we would love we would love to expand on this story further because uh, there's just a, you know, Scarlet Scarlet's a great character, and and. Um, this world is so interesting to us. And, uh, and we like the opportunity to be able to plant a lot of seeds that we didn't have to overly explain in the movie and that we didn't feel mm -hmm. like we needed to tell every last backstory detail of every character, but rather just kind of leave some of it open to interpretation and go, go with that. <laughs>